Whenever a player signs with the Baltimore Ravens, I try to look to see what type of value that player adds to the team. Uh, sometimes we look at stats, sometimes we look at film, sometimes we look at a combination of both. And then we'll look to see what other fans of the teams that he played for in the past have to say about him. Uh, but in this case with Deron Harmon, there was something that I overlooked that is just is huge. Uh, and that is his experience. Not just his experience around the league and being a starter for several different teams, which is great. But his winning experience, his championship experience, his Super Bowl experience. Ron Harmon, he has played in one, two, three, four Super Bowls, winning three of them with the New England Patriots. Uh, the Probably the most significant, I mean, not even the most significant because every single Super Bowl is significant, but probably the most memorable, uh, the 28-3 comeback by the New England Patriots. So he's literally played in every type of game there is to play in. And he knows what it's like to be up. He also knows what it's like to be down. Uh, so that experience is just extremely valuable uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, I envision him coming into this team being a depth guy, super quality depth guy, which is great, but him being a depth guy, a depth piece. He's on a practice squad right now, uh, and I'm sure he'll probably get called up right away. Uh, and he'll get some playing time that way, especially with Marcus Williams being out for who knows how long. Uh, but then you think about it, if, it's a big if right now, if the Baltimore Ravens can get Marcus Williams back, this season is still to be determined. Uh, that would be a nice boost for them. And to have Marcus Williams, to have Geno Stone, who is also a quality depth guy. And then Deron Harmon as well as another quality depth guy. That can be a beautiful thing. And I just, some of y'all may think that it's small. Uh, but I, I just don't I, I cannot overlook what having somebody with Super Bowl experience means to this team, especially the way that they attacked this offseason, the way that they built this roster this offseason. It really does seem like these Baltimore Ravens, they want to truly get a Super Bowl. There's been times in the past where we can question if, oh, do they really want it with how they built the roster and how they did this and that? But this year, I don't think it's a question. I think you can tell they really want to get this thing done. So. Having somebody like him is, is great because that brings knowledge. You can tell the other players, hey, maybe you should do this. Hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. Hey, this would be a good idea if you did it like that because it's somebody that's been there, done that. Had it been somebody who's never been to a Super Bowl, hasn't even sniffed a Super Bowl, it may not hit the same when that person was giving advice, but somebody like Deron Harmon who's been to this and won Super Bowls. Somebody like Odell Beckham Jr., who's been to and won the Super Bowl. Somebody like even Nelson Aguilar, who's been to and won the Super Bowl. Somebody like Justin Tucker, who's been to and won the Super Bowl. They know what it takes. And with those guys, like you can get advice from a lot of different guys around the league, and that's great. It's great to always be a student of the game. It's great to always be learning because – us as people, we can always learn something new every single day. But to get advice from somebody who's been there and done that and had a lot of success at whatever it is that they do, that's when it gets that much more special. And that's when it's just that much more different. So this made me love that signing that much more. Now, Deron Harmon wasn't the only signing that the Baltimore Ravens did recently. Of course, um, they have some injuries to their offensive line. They banged up. Tyler Linderbaum, uh, he's out for now. Ronnie Stanley, he's out for now, uh, and they did not practice yesterday. We'll see if anything changes today. I don't anticipate it changing, but we'll see when we get there. Uh, but Ravens signed veteran offensive lineman Kyle Fuller to their practice squad. So, yeah, they, they did sign Kyle Fuller, who a lot of fans have been asking about, but not the Kyle Fuller that a lot of fans have been asking about. Uh, but from Aaron Wilson, he said he was a former Texan seventh-round draft pick. Uh, from BU football, he's a veteran lineman, Kyle Fuller. He joins the Ravens practice squad per league sources. He's also played for the Washington franchise. Look at that. He, he didn't even know what to call them. He was like, do I call them commanders? Do I call them the old names? Let me just call them Washington franchise. Uh, he's played for the Dolphins, Seahawks, and the Broncos. He's played 51 career games and has 12 starts. So um, he's played in a good amount of games. Doesn't have that many starts, but he's not expected to start. So, again, a debt piece. A depth piece. So Ravens just preparing themselves just in case. Because, again, Ronnie Stanley, who knows how long it's going to be. With Tyler Linderbaum, who knows how long it's going to be. Um, yesterday, uh, Mark Andrews, he 
came through to practice. So that was a beautiful thing. He, his practice was limited, though. And with it being limited, uh, I, I, I'm not going to get too hyped yet. Now, if Mark Andrews, when he comes off of that, uh, that injury report, and he practices in full, that's when I'm going to be like, all right, let's go, come on, let's get it, baby, let's make it happen. That's when I'm going to get hyped. But him practicing and being limited, I'm going to chill for now. I, I'm going I'm to relax for now. But over these next couple of days, we'll see if they continue to ramp up his practice. Now, uh, somebody who did not practice uh, yesterday, uh, John Harbaugh said he had a shot to play this week. He said that last week, though. Uh, that was Marlon Humphrey. That that was Marlon Humphrey. Uh, and I was hoping. I was, re- <laughs> I was really hoping, especially going against these Bengals. Oh, boy. Wow. Uh, I was really hoping Marlon Humphrey would uh would be able to play um but he didn't practice on wednesday jess Rebic talked about how that's usually a, a good indicator uh that he probably won't be playing in sunday's game still to be determined now nothing's finalized because maybe hey marlon humphrey come out through the shadows and say on your left and then it's him you see that 44 jersey running down the uh the, the ramp at, at practice and he's back that would be a beautiful thing uh but at least not yet he didn't come back yet. Uh, he's still dealing with what, whatever he's dealing with. Now, he was on the, the Punchline pod, podcast. So, shout out to him and, and Jack Settlement. I, I do really like that podcast. I was listening to it yesterday while I was driving. Um, and he talked about, uh, whenever he talks about his foot and, and, like, activity that he's doing with his feet, I listen extra close. I'm like, oh, are you trying to give us clues or whatnot? Because he said he took a lap around M&T Bank Stadium the other day. And I was like, oh, you, you taking laps now? You taking laps around the stadium? Okay, so you must be good then. You, you must be straight. So closer. He's he's getting closer and closer and closer. Um and so when when Marlon Humphrey comes back, we gonna be extra hype, extra excited. Cause um this is a big week. I mean every week is a big week for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh but this is certainly a very, very big week. Um I know Ravens right now are they consider what, three point underdog, three and a half point underdog, something like that. And I get why. Uh I I definitely get why. Uh, but apparently People in Vegas or whatever, they they think, hold up, wait a minute, only three and a half point. That that ain't that much. <laughs> that's not much. That that's not that much. So they're not counting the Ravens out at all. And I mean, with Lamar Jackson, you can never count the Ravens out. Um, but Ravens are dealing with a lot. They are dealing with a whole lot right now. So if they're gonna win this game, oh, it, it, it's gonna take everything and more. Uh, Cause you got backup offensive linemen, you got backup corners, you got backup safeties, a lot of backups. But this is where these guys can really like. All right, no, no, we we can handle being starters in this league on a consistent basis against a very, very, very good Cincinnati Bengals team. So we'll see how this thing goes. I, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a very stressful game. Hey, but Ravens, if if y'all want to make it not stressful, y'all want to blow them out, no problem. We you think we gonna be complaining? No, not at all, not at all. So go for it, Baltimore Ravens. We love y'all. Anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all watching. I thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video and. Turn the notifications on. And also, don't only subscribe to this channel, but subscribe to more Engraven vids to that channel, too, where we cover the entire NFL. So I appreciate you all support, and I appreciate everything that you do every single day. And we out.